Today's topic is thalassemia. Overview. Thalassemias are inherited blood disorders, which cause the body to make fewer healthy red blood cells and less hemoglobin, an iron-rich protein in red blood cells. The two major types of thalassemia are alpha and beta thalassemia. The most severe form of alpha thalassemia is known as alpha thalassemia major, or hydrops fatalis, while the severe form of beta thalassemia is known as thalassemia major, or Cooley's anemia. Thalassemias affect both males and females and occur most often in people of Italian, Greek, Middle Eastern, Asian, and African descent. Severe forms are usually diagnosed in early childhood and are lifelong conditions. Causes Hemoglobin in red blood cells has two kinds of protein chains, alpha-globin and beta-globin. If your body doesn't make enough of these protein chains, red blood cells don't form properly and can't carry enough oxygen. Genes control how the body makes hemoglobin protein chains. When these genes are missing or altered, thalassemias occur. Thalassemias are inherited disorders. They are passed on from parents to their children through genes. People who get abnormal hemoglobin genes from one parent, but normal genes from the other, are carriers. Carriers often have no signs of illness other than mild anemia. However, they can pass the abnormal genes on to their children. Signs and Symptoms Symptoms of thalassemias are caused by a lack of oxygen in the bloodstream. This occurs because the body doesn't make enough healthy red blood cells and hemoglobin. The severity of symptoms depends on the severity of the disorder. People who have alpha or beta thalassemia can have mild anemia, which can make you feel tired. People with beta thalassemia intermedia have mild to moderate anemia. They may also have other health problems, including slowed growth and delayed puberty, bone problems, and an enlarged spleen. People with hemoglobin H disease or beta thalassemia major have severe thalassemia. Symptoms occur within the first two years of life and include severe anemia and other serious health problems. Pale and listless appearance, poor appetite, dark urine, slowed growth and delayed puberty, jaundice, enlarged spleen, liver, and heart, bone problems. Treatment. Treatment for thalassemias depends on the type and severity of the disorder. People who are carriers or who have alpha or beta thalassemia need little or no treatment. Three standard treatments are used to treat moderate and severe forms of thalassemia. These include blood transfusions, iron chelation therapy, and folic acid supplements. Risk. Family history and ancestry are the two risk factors for thalassemias. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.